I am about to edit this video, I want to quickly pop in and say that this video was filmed over six months ago when Jude Girl is actually still in my tummy. I don't know why it took me forever to get this video up, but I still wanted to edit and upload it because I want somewhere to have these memories kept for, I guess I can say forever, but who knows if YouTube will be around forever. And also it was a fun trip and I think you will enjoy seeing it. So let's flash back to this past summer. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from Tyler's video, this is going to be our little beach vacation, one year anniversary slash baby moon trip. We are going to the beach for like, I guess technically two days. We're leaving tomorrow morning around seven and we should get there around 11 a.m. And then we are just staying one night and leaving at some point Sunday. We're both off Monday, so I don't know if we'll stay a little later or not. Just kind of, we'll go with the flow. But I thought I would start this video with a little pack with me. I like watching these videos. I like getting like inspiration for outfits and I also find them strangely comforting and like calming. I'm just finishing up my smoothie. It's showing up really ugly color. It kind of looks like an ugly color now. This is just strawberry milk, frozen banana. I had some rogue frozen blueberries, so I just threw those in. Oh, Pico, is that suitcase for you? And then a few like frozen avocado chunks just to add some fat. So what I did last night was I pretty much just threw a bunch of stuff in my suitcase, kind of like didn't really think through it. it. was like, oh, I'll maybe want this, I'll maybe want that. And today I knew that I would go through and actually make decisions. I'm very, 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 very much an overpacker. So um, this is kind of a way to not be as much of an overpacker. Still going to pack a few things, but it never hurts. Especially when you're going on a vacation where you think you'll be in like the water. I don't plan on going in the ocean because it's just not going to be warm enough. But the hotel we're staying at does have a pool that I'm pretty sure I'll go in because I'm I've heard that's good for pregnant people. So yeah, anytime you're going on a vacation where you plan on being in water, I think it's always best to bring a few um, extra outfits because it sucks getting in something that like it's already wet, already sandy, already smelly, already dirty. Yeah, it's not for bubble boy. I'll quickly show you what the suitcase looks like now. So that's what my suitcase looks like now, very disorganized. Oh, I also have, yeah, you can see. I have my outfit here for tomorrow morning. I already steamed it. I know it doesn't look like it was steamed, but this like linen fabric just is never like completely straight. Um, and I like that. I think it kind of like gives it a more relaxed feel. This is from the Lullaby Club. You'll see it on me tomorrow. I get a size medium large and it fit me before I was pregnant and it fits me now while pregnant. And I'm pretty sure it'll fit me through my whole pregnancy. I will link whatever I can in the description box below. So the first thing I happen to pull out is I have three pairs of socks. I have two bathing suits i actually just got these these are both maternity bathing suits from amazon i really really like this one i got both of them in a size large if i was not pregnant but they're maternity but yeah normally if i was to get a one piece i'd probably get a medium or a large i'm not sure it would depend on the brand but we are also going on a trip next month and then I assume like at some point we'll probably go to the pool throughout the summer and by end of summer I will be very very pregnant like well into my third trimester so I want to get something that I would be sure would fit me throughout the whole pregnancy. I will link those below. I think if you're pregnant they're very very cute especially that light pink one and I believe both of them come in a lot of different colors. Then I have this um, little head towel thing. It came in a bump box that my friend has been sending me. It's like a monthly thing. And I thought this would be nice to bring just in case my hair is soaking wet. I plan on styling my hair in a way tomorrow morning so I just don't have to deal with it um, even after it gets wet. We'll see how that works, but just in case I'm gonna bring this, some undies. Next thing I'd thrown in is this like little blue workout set. I'm not gonna bring this one. This is the workout set I'm bringing bringing bra top thing and then it comes with these matching biker shorts this little waistband is very very stretchy this is a size large this is also from amazon fits me very well very comfy on the bump i think it is so cutie then i have just a comfy very very oversized zip up hoodie this is from asos and it actually comes with sweatpants but i'm not bringing those sweatpants i'm bringing a different type of pants and i just thought this would be nice for nighttime when it gets cold maybe on our drive back i might just want to wear this i just want to be as comfy as possible on our drive back i am going to bring these sweatpants. I think these are, oh, these are from Nasty Gal. This is also a set, but I'm just bringing the pants. Next thing I have, this is probably like my favorite thing that I have here, is this little slinky dress from Amazon. It has these ties at the bottom that you can scrunch up and make shorter or longer. This dress is so, so cute. I think I saw 
Julia Havens, I want to say, wearing it and she linked it and I was like, yeah, it looks cute. And I think anything tight also looks cute when you're pregnant. I can't wait for my belly to be bigger because I feel like I'm at the point where someone would look at me and like, would it be sure if I was pregnant or not? Bringing this dress um, for Saturday night because I'm pretty sure we'll go to a nicer dinner. Then I have this white button down from ASOS and this is also very oversized. I will probably wear either this or this. This is very old. Um, where is this from? This is actually from American Apparel and I got this, I remember, in undergrad because it was on sale. Remember when American Apparel was like the thing and everyone wanted to wear them? I think they don't even exist anymore. I'm not sure. I'll probably either wear this or this button down with that black dress. I had packed this dress which I really like. I think it's a really cute like beachy dress. It's very, it almost looks see-through. It's like a tiny bit see-through, but I just still wear it. Very flowy. This is from H&M. It's also very old. I don't think I'll be able to link it, but it's very, very oversized because it's a size four and this will still fit me throughout my pregnancy, I'm very sure. And I'm not a size four. This is still maybe. We'll see. If I have room in my suitcase, I'll still bring this. If not, I won't. Next, Excuse me, Bishi. Wow, I'm bringing a lot of stuff from Amazon, I just realized. I have this little green and white striped short set. Very oversized, very comfy. And it comes with this little cropped long sleeves. Bishi, excuse me. She's like fully in my suitcase. Please don't do that. So the, I'm bringing this just for PJs. This little good hair scarf from the Nappy Head Club. Love it. Then I have this romper also from the Lullaby Club. This romper, every single time I wear it, actually every time I wear the Lullaby Club, any of their outfits, I always get compliments from like at least two people on what I'm wearing. But this romper, especially every single time I wear it, I get compliments from like four or five people. It's not like I'm like walking around a lot. I think the last time I wore it was to one of my doctor's appointments and I probably saw like a total of 10 people and like half of those people complimenting. And then I also packed this as something comfy to wear in the car. Finally, I take ritual prenatals and they send them to you monthly in the mail. It's very, very convenient. So I conveniently just ran out. So I was like, well, I can use this empty one to carry all my pills. So I have my prenatals and vitamin D in there. Some stuff that I have that won't be going in a suitcase are beach towels, two blankets, which will be nice in the car, mostly for me. This little sun hat. I think it's so cutie. I love how big it is. I wanna be protecting my my face from the sun finally oh wait actually i'm also bringing our little mini steamer finally we have our little beach bag so we have books Corey has this books i have this book the montessori baby a little polaroid camera it's filled with nine shots i'm not gonna bring extra film because i just want us to only take like a few goggles i don't know if people wear goggles anymore but it is nice to have goggles when you're swimming of course have sunscreen this sunscreen for corey this sunscreen for me because i looked up and apparently banana boat is not pregnancy safe now i just have some extra cash in here you never know you never know what's gonna happen a little baby deodorant from native spf stick this is just nice to like put on your face a lip balm from foley and i think i have like a lip balm in our toiletry bag too i have this little bag this actually came with uh toluca when i bought their bathing suits. I brought this in case for some reason we have to change out of our bathing suits and they're not dry yet and we just don't want to make everything else wet. I thought this would be nice to like kind of protect it. I don't know if both of our bathing suits will fit in this bag. Our toiletry bag is pretty basic stuff but I'll show you very quickly. All right this is our toiletry bag. It's a very basic kind of ugly bag. Corey's had this for I don't know how long but it's big enough to put both of our stuff in so that's just always what we do. So first in this little pocket I have what I was when I was talking about that like hair towel thing. I have the little rubber band. Why is it not focusing? We have some floss. I have some makeup um, remover wipes. Just some hoop earrings. I did not know if I'll be wearing makeup, but just in case, I did bring those reusable makeup wipes. And then I have this facial cleansing oil from Coco Kine. The rest of the stuff in here is pretty basic. So I recently um, rebought my face wash and what's it called face cream and they sent me samples of literally what i bought so i was kind of like okay that's not helpful but it actually is helpful because now i don't have to pack a little like container of my face wash and uh, face lotion i could just bring these very nice and then finally in this little bag i have some very simple makeup this like little perfume thing I have some blush, a concealer, more chapstick, eyebrow, what's it called? Where'd my eyebrow brush go though? Cause I know I have that. My eyebrow brush, brow gel, highlighter, and then I have some mascara. Fefel, so 
All right, we were able to check into our room early. First, the check-in said at five, which was ridiculously late, but we just came at two and they're ready. We got a very fancy room, very grateful. It's like a living room area that already has our stuff. So it's very nice. And we basically have a full kitchen, even though we're only staying one night. That's the only reason we upgraded to this room. Hey, the bathroom. Turn off the lights in here. The bathroom's very pretty. Full mirror. I love the like color scheme they have here. Shower is very nice. That's it. Then, this is the bedroom. Very big. The biggest TV ever. And the highlight. Ocean front. Here we get our little beach chairs. So pretty. We also get this little private lounge. I guess there's a lower level. I'm just making sure no one's down there. And there's a fire pit. Hopefully they do a fire at night. It wraps around. It's also an inside part. I'll try and get some clips of that, but I feel uncomfortable. on the bump yeah this is my outfit for dinner and i wear my little hoops and corey's hanging out on the bed oh just got up ready uh, okay obviously virgin because baby cannot have alcohol corey got I don't even think you're gonna be able to hear me some music, but Corey got the strawberry basil mojito, which actually sounds super good. If I was not pregnant, I would have gotten that. But this virgin, the waitress said, would just be like basil, strawberries, um, and spray. And then they got us these little rolls, which are so cutie, and Corey's very happy. The sun looks good here. Makes you look very cutie. <laughs> we are back in our hotel, showered in bed at nine. I have my headscarf on. Very comfy. Usually I do a bonnet, but I didn't want to bring my bonnet here. So I'm just using this as I showed in my pack with me. Um, and we're just gonna watch TV. We have some ice cream in the freezer. I've just been looking at myself. I should be looking here. We have some ice cream in the freezer, so probably eat that. Brush your teeth, go to sleep. You're looking like you have something to say. No. Okay. And then we want to wake up early and watch the sunrise on our little balcony. Decided to get up and stop being lazy. There's a lot more people out here than I thought. Like someone's standing in the water kind of down there as you can see. I saw someone running by, someone's sitting there. This guy probably sees me recording. I mean, it is very beautiful, but like over there, it's just so pretty. So we're gonna sit out here with our blankets and Corey's making some coffee. I will not have coffee though. I'm gonna miss it. It's coming up very fast. 